Dragon Ball. We trained with Master Roshi, and Krillin stole a rock from Goku in their training, but Goku got it back. And then, they fought in the World Martial Arts Tournament. Goku beat a man who was getting water for his village, and then he beat his own master. And then, he fought his way through the Muscle Tower, trying to find the four-star Dragon Ball fighting against the Red Ribbon Army, also in this watery cave against General Blue, where they, Goku is still searching for his grandpa's four-star ball. Anyway, we are continuing the journey now, and I am not doing this narrator voice. Until right now, Goku alive in the land of Korin, searching for the next Dragon Ball. It only took a moment for Goku to get the four-star ball from Upa, who lived there. Suddenly, a mercenary town, when, whom the Red Ribbon Army had hired, appeared. What's this? Upa's father? Bora has been killed. Okay, that's the best way to convey that type of information. Just, 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 just say somebody got killed in text. Don't, don't show it or anything. Father! Eh, eh. Are you freaking kidding me? They freaking made Upa White too. This is a freaking travesty. Why are they making everybody white in this freaking game? First Nom, and now this kid. Next thing you know, we're gonna see Bora come back to life, and he's freaking completely white. This is disgusting. <laughs> he is not white. <laughs> I'm sorry. The game is good other than that, okay? Why you? You're going to pay for this! <laughs> you fool. Deliberately choosing to die like this. Yo, mercenary towel. Holy crap, it's actually a fight. It's like a fight fight. I'm not ready for this. I forgot how it controls. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. It doesn't even sound like mercenary towers. Bruh, I have like no health. How am I supposed to win? Bro, he's kicking. I mean, honestly, he's supposed to win anyway. <laughs> That's how it happens. I'm sorry. I think this is unwinnable, honestly. Or if it is winnable, it's probably really hard. Goku is supposed to lose this fight, okay? Also, this music is sick as heck. Holy crap, he's so strong. Yeah, they do that sometimes. After image technique or something. But yeah, this is like one of the coolest villains in OG Dragon Ball. He's, he's just like a cold-blooded killer. No nonsense. He will kill you. Very cool. My work here is done. Okay. Now then, I've taken care- Okay, that was supposed to happen. I've taken care of the kid. And I've got these Dragon Ball things. I'd say my business here is done. I think I'll be going. Oh, wait. Uh, oof. Ah, Goku, you're still alive. Ouch. How come on... Huh? A Dragon Ball? So that's it. Grandpa saved me. I wish my father was alive, too. Alright, I'm going to get the Dragon Balls together and bring your daddy back to life, Upa. But how am I going to beat that guy? See, Goku, why don't you try climbing Korin's tower? That's right! There's supposed to be water at the top that gives you more power. Okay, who told you this? They didn't explain that before in the game, but whatever. Alright, 
I'm going to climb it. Wait, are they gonna make that into, like, a part in the game? Because that'd be interesting. How, how, are they, how are they gonna make this into, like, a game? Good luck! Good luck, Goku! Oh, is it just a cutscene? Damn it. Goku begins climbing Korin's Tower in order to beat the mighty Jet. I'm sorry, is it General Tao or is it Mercenary Tao? I know it's supposed to be- his name is supposed to be Mercenary Tao, but- they're using both the name used in the freaking dub, General Tao, and they also said, just straight up said Mercenary Tao in the fight. So which name is it? I don't know. Oh yeah, I forgot my hat. He climbs it and he climbs it, but still can't see the top. Still, he climbs on. And then finally, at last, Goku reaches the top of the tower. <sighs> So this is the top, huh? Hey, Hermit! Give me some water! I'm impressed that you've made it this far! I am the Hermit, Corin. Huh? You're the Hermit? Listen! Oh wait, huh? You're the Hermit? Oh wait, okay, I can't- I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just not thinking right now. Listen, you've got some mysterious kind of water here, right? My Goku voice- my kid Goku voice kind of sounds like Trunks, honestly. But I don't know. Ah, the sacred water. Of course I have some. But if you want to drink it, you have to catch me ten times. Okay, that's a little bit different than the anime, but sure, ten times. It's always ten times what they get. <gasps> to destroy ten boulders to proceed to the tournament. Dest catch Corrin ten times. If you do, you can drink all the water you want. Alright, I'm going to catch you! Yo, the funny cat. Yo, this is like a freaking Mario Party minigame or something. Oh my god, this is adorable, I love him. Yo, I love this! He's so cute! They made him so cute! I'm crying! It's so cute! I'm, I'm crying and shaking at how cute this is. Also, it's very easy, but, like, whatever. It's not like there's a time limit or anything. They did this part justice. I like it. He's a funny cat. Very funny cat. Area clear. I mean, I would have appreciated it if they found a way to make climbing the tower into a part of the game, but like, I mean, fair? Goku is just climbing up a tower. I don't know how they'd make that exciting. But I mean, they could get creative, I don't know. Make it fun. Impressive. You may drink. Here, you may drink. Huh? Honey? I don't feel all that different. That's only natural. The sacred water is just ordinary water. Not until the Piccolo Saga where it's like, Okay, never mind, there was real sacred water. Here you go, random power-up, lol. I hated- honestly, I hated that. Because they kind of ruined the point of this part. Particularly. Like, okay, he does actually- he just lied. Okay, whatever. You'll- you'll see what I mean with that later. Anyway... Huh? That's awful! You mean you tricked me? Ha ha ha! I haven't tricked you! By catching me, your power has increased several times over. And also climbing the tower, obviously, but like, whatever. Really? Thanks, Corin. Well, bye-bye! I don't know if catching the cat- I mean, in the anime, it took Goku like three days to catch Corin successfully. Well, like, here, it took, like, him two seconds. So, I don't know if it'd really do that much, but let, let's just suspend our disbelief here. Goku is really strong now. Hmm, what a hasty little fellow. Meanwhile, in the- Meanwhile, in the land of Corian. Tell me, where is the remaining Dragon Ball? You killed my father! There's no way I'm telling you! Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat. I guess I'll just kill you. Wah! 
Hold it! What? You, you, you're still alive. I'm not giving you this Dragon Ball, and I won't be beaten by you again. Ha ha ha, you'll regret this. Very well, you'll be dead in three seconds. You know, I mean, I'm not doubting that, but, I mean, maybe I'll do better now that I'm apparently stronger. Oh my god, he's still very strong. Yo, okay, um, I stand a chance against him now. But yeah, in the last part, you didn't see it, but they introduced, like, a fighting game portion of the game. So, like, during the World Martial Arts Tournament, the game shifted from, like, beat em up to just the fighting game now. Like, there's combos here and stuff. It's crazy. And there's, like, stamina and, like, stuff. Ah, oh, shoot, he used Dodon Ray, or Dodon Pa, as, depending on what you want to call it. Dodon Pa! Ah, uh, so you can frickin' kick people in the air, which is pretty cool. Kind of like fighters or something, but not as crazy. Hey, that, that, yeah. Bro, you know what? This guy should have been fighters, okay? I like Mercenary Cow. He would have been a cool pick, for sure. I mean, he could lick people, okay? He actually does that to kill General Blue, by the way. He just freaking takes out General Blue because he failed to get the Dragon Ball. And he freaking kills him with one lick of his tongue. It's crazy. Kamehameha! Okay, we're equally matched. Let's go. I'd say I have a good chance of beating him now. Kame, Hame! Ha! The fighting gameplay is kind of fun, even if it's only two buttons. They did a lot with it somehow. Well, not a lot, but like, it feels fun. Even then. I can charge this while using other attacks. Oh crap. Come on, come on. Ow, okay. There's a risk using the Kamehameha. I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, crap. Am I gonna beat Mercenary Cow? Let's find out. Come on! Ah, damn it! I wanna use the, I wanted to finish him off with the fully charged Kamehameha. Damn. I did it! I did it! I beat Mercenary Tao! Banzai! Wait, how do you know his name? Alright, I'm going to make sure I get all the Dragon Balls together. And bring your daddy back to life, Oopa. Right. Hmm? The Dragon Balls on the radar are all grouped together. I get it. That must be the Red Ribbon's house. Red Ribbon's house? That's perfect! I can get rid of them while I'm at it! See you, Flying Nimbus! Be careful! I've changed collection item. Hand grenade! Oh my god. Now you can select Tao for one-on-one -on -one fighting. I'll have to check that mode out later. Red Ribbon RB Base! Ooh, this part's gonna be fun. Honestly, like, Goku just freaking, like, kills everybody. And that's, like, a cool part of, like, the one episode it's in. But, like, Goku just freaking storms through the base, just kills, like, all the soldiers, like, single-handedly. It's so cool. That's gonna be, like, a badass part of the game, okay? Alright, here goes! 
Oh, I guess I'm flying too. That's cool. More flying gameplay. I like the, the cloud, so. To be fair, he does get to the base first by flying, and then he, like, kills all the Hood Ribbon guys. The music is pretty good in this game. Not all the tracks are, like, super winners, but, like, when they're good, they're pretty good. Like, this sounds like a freaking anime ending theme. That doesn't even exist, but it does here. Also, this is basically just the freaking sky chase zone from Sonic 2, but better. Just saying. Because, like, you can jump off the cloud to do other things for, like, a sec- Oh, crap. My controller unplugged. Wait, I don't even need to plug it in. What am I doing? Okay, hold up. Let me just connect it. Um... Crap, wait. No, wait. Ah, okay, okay. I closed the game out by accident, but... It's fine, I saved, I think. Did I save? I probably did. I think... I think I saved? What's happening? Um... Visual Boy... Where is it? One hour later. And it works. Thank you for working, computer. Put the game a little louder, though. Very fun. Never heard of an aerial beat em up, but this is pretty neat. There are stages like this in the new Turtles, um, Ninja Turtles game, though. That game is pretty fun from what I played. Maybe I should stream it sometime. Chess. Yeah, it works. Well, at least you can't fall off, unlike the freaking uh, tornado in the Sonic 2 level. Oh god, I thought I zoomed out by accident. Give me your apples. Dun 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 and it makes sense because Dimps made Sonic games, so like, whatever. Ah, that must be the Red Ribbon Army. Yo, let's go. Bruh, you didn't, you didn't know? 
Yo. Oh! Crap, this music is sick as heck. Oh wait, this music played in a previous level, but like... Still, I like the song. It kind of sounds like Mega Man music. Like, I'd imagine this in like a Wily Castle or something. Rebel Army Base, let's go! These guys are just holding burgers in the middle of fights. They are savage. Ow. I don't really care. I think you'll laugh once you find out, or like, be very surprised once you find out what the Red Ribbon Army is even after the Dragon Ball is for, because it is quite crazy what will happen soon. And at least, I'm assuming if they include the scene in this game, because if they don't, I'm, I'll be mad. But yeah, they're one of Goku's first, like, great foes. in this series. Really, the first major antagonist. You can consider Yamcha an antagonist, but that was only for like two seconds, so like... It doesn't really count, I think. Wait, what the hell? No, they're not gonna summon Beerus. But that would be funny. Bruh, Yoshi. You mean Piccolo? That would make sense, but... No. It'll be pretty comical, let me tell you. Ah, so Beerus is gonna show up, like, a lot later. Like, like, after Dragon Ball Z. Let's just say that. Oh, my controller was automatically moving for a second. I thought it was like a cutscene. Well, actually, technically not after Dragon Ball Z, but... The Dragon Ball Super takes place in, in a, like, a state that's after the Boo Saga, which is the last R- well, one of the last arcs, but before the peaceful world, peaceful world slash end of Z saga, as it's called, which is basically like five years after the story of the Boo saga. So, like, they just have like an epilogue. So, Super takes place in between that time. Oh wait, this was just a random building I can go into. But yeah. As far as chronology goes, you don't really have to worry about too much. It's just like, you watch Dragon Ball Z and then you watch Dragon Ball Super. It's simple. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super. Or, 
if you're a bold one, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT. GT is just another, you know, another sequel. They're both sequels to Dragon Ball Z. Neither, the they're both canon. I mean, okay, people say GT isn't canon, but like, whatever. Like, it's canon to the Z anime. It followed the, the events of the anime. Like, it's what happens after Z. It's just, there's two different things that have to happen after Z. So, like, you know, alternate universes or something. I don't know. They can't take place at the same time, but, like... I mean, it doesn't really matter. They're both follow-ups to Z. That's what matters. Are they good follow-ups to Z? Well, I'll leave that up to uh, viewer interpretation. I like Super quite a bit. I thought it had a lot of good parts. GT, I didn't like quite as much, but GT was okay. It had some good parts, too, but not as many as Super, I would think. GT, GT kind of kind of, kind of not as good, but, like, I'm not gonna hate it. Like, other fans, like, tend to, like, claim it's, like, the worst thing ever. All those things are better than freaking Super Dragon Ball Hero, so, like, whatever. Super Dragon Ball Heroes is just some random non-canon side thing where the characters have like 20 million forms and fight villains and it's just, it's just the cell toys and trading cards. It's not a real story. It's not a real story. It's just for merchandise. It's crazy, okay? So I guess I shouldn't hate Super Dragon Ball... So, I, can't, I can't even freaking remember the names now. Freaking Super Dragon Ball Heroes that much, because they gave Yamcha a girlfriend, okay? Like, that's, that's, that's okay, I guess. You're okay in my book if you give Yamcha a girlfriend. Like, the poor man is just, just sad and alone. He needs somebody. Ow. Speaking of which, we haven't seen Yamcha since freaking the first saga in this game, even though he does appear in all the tournaments. It's kind of funny. Maybe we'll see him in the TN tournament, I don't know. Or should I say Ten Shinhan, I prefer that name. Also, I forgot to comment on it, but freaking random major Metalotron recolors that exist in this version of the story. Okay, there's multiple of them, too. At once. Freaking mass-produced model units. They're weaker than the original. Oh god, I thought that was a bottomless pet for a second. I would've cried. Also, I, I really like how the Red Ribbon Castle looks. I forgot how cool it is. Wait, how do I get out of here? This is just a doom pit, isn't it? Because this is the original story. Dragon Ball came first, and then Dragon Ball Z, and then Dragon Ball Super. It's just most, a lot of people start with Dragon Ball Z for some reason, because that's what everybody, that's the first one that got localized. So nobody knew, nobody knows Dragon Ball as much. Like, yeah, Dragon Ball Z is more popular, but like, you're missing out the story, man. By skipping Dragon Ball, the original. It's such a big part of the story. Wait, how do I get out of here? Wait. Can I, like, wall jump? Oh. You know, the game doesn't really tell you you can wall jump. I'm just supposed to know that, apparently. Like, I just found that out on my own once, and kind of forgot it even existed again. Cool. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, this level's getting kind of crazy. That's why it's the Kid Goku show. I mean, okay, you also have Dragon Ball GG, which is also the Kid Goku show. But that's only because reasons. 
the Pilaf gang, which is, you know, that blue guy you saw in the first... Oh, wait, did you see the first... Oh, yeah, you were here for the first episode. So, in the first part of this, Emperor Pilaf, that blue guy you saw, the tiny guy, he accidentally wishes Goku to be a kid again in Dragon Ball GET. And then Goku is a kid, and then... I, I don't know why they made Goku a kid. I mean, I guess to make him not as strong question mark, like, they, they nerfed him a bit from Z, so that way he still has, like, challenges or something. I don't know. I forgot the main reasoning. They also wanted it to be, like, more comfortable or something. Because, like, you know, Kid Goku is cool, but, like, it's kind of like a de-evolution of the series a little bit by doing that. Like, OG Dragon Ball was peak, but, like, the series should st keep moving forward. They shouldn't just randomly bring back Kid Goku. That's weird. Like, I don't know. That was kind of silly. Bringing back Kid Goku is weird. They should have made him back an adult, like, later in that series. They didn't, by the way. But they saw, like, Conan, the det Detective Conan, and were like, Okay, you know what? Let's copy this. Let's make it Goku a kid. For no reason. It worked in that show. Clearly, it'll work for Goku. I mean, I'm pretty sure Detective Conan was just starting around that time anyway. I don't know. If you don't know what that is, it's a pretty- It's a, it's a very big anime series with this kid. Who's like this adult who's like a lawyer, but he got turned into a kid. And he goes on like lawyer kid adventure things. At least that's the gist I got out of it from what I've seen. It's, it was pretty good from what I remember, but I haven't seen a ton in it. But I saw like a movie from it, but I don't really remember much about it. Other than, you know, having good like sleuth story stuff. You know, like detective stuff. The usual. Oh wait, he wasn't a lawyer, he was a detective. What am I saying? I mean, it's literally called Detective Conan. I don't know. Anyway... Oh, a capsule. Yo, more health. Yo, I have blue health now. That's crazy. Loving these upgrades here. You basically need the wall jump, and they don't explain it at all in the game. Like, imagine if I didn't figure that out. How would I get up here? This level's cool. It, feel, it makes the Reb Ribbon Army killing squad of Goku feel like an event. Like, it, well, just as it is in the show. Like, it, it's, it's a thing. Goku just massacres them all. It destroys the whole army. All by himself. Wait, did I just do a dash? Wait! I can dash the whole time and I didn't even know? Are you kidding me? Yeah, there's quite a bit of lore, but it's easy to follow if you're like... Okay. I don't know, I didn't think of that, but you can dash if you double tap. Which, it's just Kirby. Damn it. How did I not... Okay, well, whatever. It's fine. I went through half the game not knowing this. Whatever, though, right? Whatever. I probably should have figured you could run. Or it's not like I had anyone 
for freaking played this game telling me that you can do that, so like, whatever. It's fine. I was wondering, why doesn't this game have a run? But it does, I just didn't try. I bet this is like one of the last levels too. I mean, the game goes up to at least the King Piccolo Saga. But like, this is like almost the finale of the game, I imagine. Because this is one of the last sagas. Other than another tournament, of course, but like, you know. Also, I wish they had the Piccolo Jr. Saga. Like, I know you'd have to have old, you know, adult Goku, but like, they basically had all the sagas except for that last one, just because they, you know, it uses adult Goku. Like, it's the first saga with adult Goku, but it's not Z. You can adapt it, put it in the game. I don't care. Sure, you'd have to make a lot of new sprites for all the characters, but like, you know, it's the lo it's the finale of the Dragon Ball Saga. Like, why would they not have it? They had it. They were so close to perfection, including the whole story, but they skipped it. I mean, they didn't skip it, but they didn't do Piccolo Jr. in this game, as far as I know, anyway. I don't think they reference it at all. They probably don't even mention it. They probably just end it at Piccolo Jr. and I'm like, okay, it's done. I mean, King Piccolo. I hate the fact that I found out I can run now, though. I'm so sad. Because backtracking can feel so slow sometimes in this game. I'm like, oh, I can freaking do that? I'm like, oh, okay. Not that I have to backtrack a ton in this game. I only did it in the one cave level, cave level and then that was kind of it. But, like... I'm a little disappointed that I didn't know. Okay, this level's dragging on a bit. Let's try to pick up the pace here. something down there. go.
This is sick. Oh, we made it to the end of the castle. Well, let's fight the Red Ribbon Army's leader! Who we haven't even seen yet in this game, by the way. Like, they show glimpses of him every so often, but... In the show, like, behind the scenes, but... Oh my god, that sound is dastardly. Grr, how can this be? He's only one kid! For now... We should get out of here. We will rebuild our forces. We will rebuild our forces. Rats! I was so close to making myself taller, too. Bro. What did you say? This was all for a wish? As petty as that? Be quiet. Would you defy your commander? Gah! You weren't worthy to be the commander. I will rebuild the Red Ribbon Army. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah... I don't know about Black's design, but like... He's okay. I like it better in the freaking... Path to Power movie. I don't know if you've seen Path to Power, but it's a pretty good movie. The Dragon Ball is in here, right? I mean, the Dragon Ball is in here, right? Hmm, hmm, hmm. So if you come, but not even you, I'll match for my Battle Jacket. Battle Jacket? Is that what they call it? Wow, you haven't seen any of them? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, to be fair, most of them are kind of bad, but... Uh, I mean, not bad. They're okay. But, like... Most of them don't really have exciting stories. I don't know. But some of them are cool to watch for, like, action. Like, at least if we're just talking about Dragon Ball and Z movies. Like, the Super movies are all pretty good. Except for the Frieza one. I don't know. That one's okay. Whatever. Just hurry up and come at me. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 This is easy. Do 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 do. Well, at least they made his design better, and they didn't make him freaking white like they did Oopa and freaking Nom. Okay, imagine they just made him white like everyone else in the freaking game. Like what the heck? Why are they making everyone white? This is offensive to my eyeballs. <laughs> Disgusting. Okay. Oh, my controller is messing up again. Stop! Okay. Yeah, that's kinda sick. This reminds me of the frickin' like an Eggman fight or something, I don't know. I mean, he's shooting in the background with a thingy in a giant mech. This is just Eggman. Wait, what the heck? I didn't think the blast radius would be that big. <laughs> yeah, that'd be gross. <laughs> gross. I hate him. In the Path of Power movie, he's like more of a tan, but like... I mean... They got rid of the lips, so it's an improvement. He's like a lighter tone, but like not white. In the movie. But for some reason, they just use the regular design and everything, even though they made a new design that's, like, less offensive of this character. So, like, I don't know. Don't know why they made one design and never used it again, but, I mean, it exists.
I guess they just don't want to replace, like, the original story with anything from Path of Power, because, like, Path of Power isn't supposed to be... Okay, I'm dying again. Path of Power isn't supposed to be a replacement for watching the original series, but, like, it kind of, like, is a movie that, like, sums up the parts of, like, the first Dragon Ball Saga, and then, like, cuts to the chase of the Red Ribbon, like, portion, basically. And, but it works well on a narrative level. Like, they did it well for the film. It's like a consolidated story in, like, cinematic form, basically. Usually stories that would just, like, a bridge, a big story, like Dragon Ball, would be not as good. I mean, it isn't as good as watching series, but, like, I like, like, the art and, like, the scenes are really good in the movie, so, like, I don't really mind it there. Like, they up the scene of the cinematics and made it cool. It definitely is a movie. Oh my god, I keep dying. This guy's tough, actually. I'll give him that. He's got nerves of steel. Those look like explosions you'd see in a 2000s flash game. Well, at least I know how to run. This fight is easier. How am I dying? Damn it. Bruh, I have 25 lives. You get way too many of those in this game, honestly. How do you dodge that? I keep getting punched in the face by him. Um, did I pause it? No. Down, 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 down. Bruh, it is so hard to dodge any of those attacks. How am I supposed- you know what? Just restart. I'm gonna kick your ass now. I am gonna kick your ass. God dang it, Bobby. This guy's a tough one. I'll give him that. We're pretty much neck and neck. Because his punch attack does so much damage, though. Frickin' OP as heck. No, not the nuke! How do you avoid that? I can avoid that one, but not the nuke. Cool. I will kick your ass right now. 
Let's go. We defeated him. Goku has at last defeated the Red Ribbon Army all by himself. Yeah, I know, right? Now, only one Dragon Ball is left. However, now I've had it. The Dragon Radar is broken again. Now I don't know where the Dragon Ball is. Hey, Goku. Ah, Bulma. And Master Roshi, too. Excuse me. We came to help you. But you've already taken care of everything. Bulma, would you fix the radar for me? Let's see. That's strange. Everything is working properly. That could mean that the Dragon Ball was swallowed by some... Swallowed by something. That is a problem. What should I do? If you go to Fortune Teller Baba's place... Fortune Teller Baba's place... I'm sure she'll tell you where the Dragon Ball is. Really? Alright, off I go. Let's go, another tournament. Mini tournament arc. We're gonna do this part and then stop the game here, probably. After, because, like, the game's almost over already. Following Master Roshi's instructions to go to Baba's place. Goku and the others. Arrive. Will she be able to discern where the last Dragon Ball is? Oh my, you're all so young. Are you fortune <laughs> Bruh. Are you fortune seller Baba? That's a strange name. It's fortune teller Baba. Don't get it wrong. Listen, there's something I'd like you to look for. That's fine, but it will cost you a substantial amount of money. Or so I would ordinarily tell you. But I can't tell that you guys don't have any money. But I, oh wait. But I can tell that you guys don't have any money. Ho ho ho. So, what should, what should we do? Well, you can fight against my opponents. And if you can beat them, I will tell your fortune for free. Yeah, we'll do it. I'm so excited! Spike! Come forth! Okay, he's called Spike in this game. Wait, bruh, Devil Man already? Okay, well, I guess we're just cutting right to Goku's fights. Like, there's only two fights? Really? I mean, fair enough. Go These are the only ones Goku fights himself. Holy crap, he looks sick! The wings are animated, so cool. Bruh, they even got the toilet paper. Bruh, we're just in the middle of the freaking devil's toilet area. And you even die. Well, he shouldn't be that hard, right? Unless he uses his double might beam. Then I'm screwed, question mark. Or, I would be screwed anyway, but it doesn't do anything to Goku, so... Take that, logic. Honestly, they should have brought this guy to the tournament of power. I mean, he would have been incredibly OP. He just basically instantly kills anybody if they have any impurity in their heart by using his Devil Might Beam attack. But since Goku is pure, 100%, it did nothing. Like, if Yamcha were fighting this guy, he'd just be dead. Okay? So it's a good thing he backed off when he did. Also, he is incredibly easy, so that's... I guess that's a thing. However, I know a good fight to end this stream off on. Slash part of the story, because, you know, I know the Dragon Ball story well, so it's a good... This is... this... this... this saga is basically part of the Red Ribbon Saga, even though, you know, the Red Ribbon isn't alive, because, like... It's still dealing with, you know, the remain, you know, the remnant. Like, you know, they still have to save Upa's father, so, like... Hey, I mean, that isn't even a tasteless Yamcha joke. Like, anybody would have died to this guy if it wasn't Goku. I'm just saying, like, he was the last person that was fighting before Goku. So I was using him as an example. Because, like, he made it pretty far in this tournament, actually. I mean, he beat, he, he did pretty good against the mummy, but he's a mummy beat up. I beat him. <laughs> Who's next? For rats. 
You're something else, kid. But this is the end of the line. Your next opponent is a strong one. Come on out! My One of my favorite characters for no reason in particular. I just love this part of the story. It's very wholesome. Okay, okay. Alright, I'll beat you for sure. Aren't you gonna... do bow before your match? Before the match? Wow. No Yamcha... No Yamcha treachery in this house. Huh? Oh, yeah. Hmm? There's something nice about the way he smells. Alright. Begin the match. Yo. They got a real fight for this one. Wow, he even has a voice. Well, I mean, it is important, so... Oh, crap. He's gonna kick my ass. He's gonna thrash my ass. Dun 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 Wait, he can fly? What? How okay. Okay, I didn't know I can fly in this game. He can fly. I don't know what use that has, but that's cute. I mean, he did do that once in the anime, but like, come on. I guess it's good for like, hovering for like a combo? I don't know why you'd want to use it. I wonder if anyone plays this freaking game competitively. I mean, it has a fighting game in it. Within the, the game. Like, there's a fighting mode. Kamehameha! Damn it. Not as tough as freaking Mercenary Tao. Wait, I mean... Couldn't we technically add question mark, question mark, question mark as an alias? I mean... You don't... It's a, you, it's a name that's used. It's question mark, question mark, question mark, but like... Come on, we could add this in Mudai, right? Right? I mean, come on. Also, I'm just kicking his ass. Who are you, mystery man? Question mark. I'm just kind of kicking his butt. Even though Goku struggled with him. Quite a bit. Damn, he's very agile. I can't land a single fully charged Kamehameha on him. But, like, whatever. I haven't really been able to pull that off since Jackie Chun. Ah, oh, I hit him, but he blocked. Well. I mean, he's gonna get perished, so... Bruh, dark matter. I mean, true. Can't forget question mark, question mark, question mark from Super Mario Sunshine, right? How about that? I win, right? Masked Man is also a name. Ha ha ha, I give up. You beat me. You've grown stronger. Goku. Stronger, Goku. I'm glad you've trained this far. How do you know my name? You can't be. That's right. It's me, Gohan. Whoa! Grandpa! 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 Okay, I'm glad they, they still have the, the, the emotional story. You know, I'm surprised that I wasn't a match for you. Well, as promised, I'll tell your fortune. Listen, Crystal. Hear my call! Where can I find the seventh Dragon Ball? Hmm, hmm, I see it! The ball is moving! It's inside a car, a car about 200 kilometers from here! Thank you! All right, oh yeah, I forgot. There's, there's gonna be a throwaway boss fight against people. Alright, I'm off!
the same collection item, Gohan's hat. Now, now you can select Gohan for one-on-one -on -one fighting. I mean, fair. Also, you might be confused by the CF, but basically, Goku's father, Goku's grandfather, adopted grandfather was named Gohan, and then Goku named his kid after him. So that's why they have the same name. There, there's your lore. Why does Goku's eyes look like he has the Waluigi slash Wario outline on this freaking, like, map screen? Hey, give me the Dragon Ball! Bruh, my this is the first time we see Mai in this game. She looks cool. Ah, I remember you. You're the guys that tried to kill me before, right? <laughs> well, that's one way of putting it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm impressed that you were able to find where this Dragon Ball is. You guys are trying to do some more mischief, huh? So just hand over the Dragon Ball quietly. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I can't do that. I'm collecting the Dragon Balls, too. So why don't we do this? Let's fight, and if you win, I'll give you this ball. But if we win, you give us all six of yours. How's that? Do we have a promise? Sure. If that's okay with you, I promise. Okay then. Let's fight. <laughs> it's not going to to go the same as it did last time. It is. Bro. That's kind of cool. Go! Come by! Bro, those sprites. The sprites in this game always just... I shouldn't be surprised, but they always look so cool. I like good sprite work, what can I say? Also, this is gonna just be easy as heck. I'm sorry. The peel off gang is a joke. See, even they knew this. They gave him a bun they gave them a bunch of health bars, but the defense is so weak. Like, he's just dying. They're just going to die. I'm sorry. Goodbye, Team Loft Gang. I don't know if it's really a redesign. I feel like they were just scrunched with the sprites, because, like... Bulma looks kind of weird in her, like, map sprite, too. I guess you could call it. If she had a portrait, I I'm guessing it would probably just look normal. But yeah, she does look a little bit different in the game, I guess. Goku shrugs off. Goku shrugs off Peel Off, and the others attack like it was nothing, and puts them away. He had finally gotten all of the Dragon Balls, and so taking Upo with him, he arrived at the land of Korin. There, he really they untranslated that name, I guess. There, he asked Shen Long to bring Bora back to life. I mean, he do be called Shen Long, I guess. Thus, keeping his promise to Upa, Goku looked forward to the next world tour- They didn't even show Bora at all. What the hell? Leaving behind Master Roshi and the others, he departed to train even harder. Well, next- Next time on Dragon Ball! Wait, Island of Training? What's this? Okay, I'll do this first. Oh, wait. Never mind, this is from, like, forever ago. I thought it was some optional thing. Next time on Dragon Ball, Goku will go to the World Tournament once more. This time, he will fight T Ten Shinhan and Shout. Oh, well, no, he won't fight Shoutsu. But, um... Ten Shinhan in the Ultimate Battle. In his ultimate battle yet, will he succeed? Find out next time on Dra on the next Dragon Ball stream. And uh, yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it for the stream. So if y'all liked what you saw, um, oh, I mean, Future Mai just looks different. 
because I mean she's older, I guess. I don't I don't know. Hey, you don't like Future Mai? I mean, I like I like Future Mai. She's she's cool. What do you mean? Anyway, if you like what you saw, feel free to follow. I do. I'm planning on doing a final question mark Dragon Ball Advance Adventure stream soon, but I might put it on hold a little bit because of Splatoon 3. But I'll, I'll still have time to play the game. And also, I do a lot of Mario Kart Tour streams. I played Toy Story 2 for the PlayStation 1, Castlevania, Sonic, and a lot of other games. So if you like, if those sound interesting to you, you can check out my Ultra Mario 3K Archives channel on YouTube. I keep my stream VODs up on there, so yeah. Feel free to check that out and subscribe if you feel like it. Anyway, take care everyone, and thank you all so much for watching. Have yourselves a good one. Oh, I, d I don't know what the normal one, I mean... Okay.